Valorant's patch 9.2 is out today, and it's a pretty small one overall, but there are still a few things I wanted to mention. You know, I was going through the patch notes. Like they said, people who engage in comms abuse will experience increased penalties. I feel like they say that pretty much every other patch, but, you know, good to hear they're cracking down on toxicity. There's a little bug fix with Neon. Yeah, cool, whatever. Icebox added to console. Great. But then there were two, I guess, UI changes, and one of them is to the combat report. So this is the little thing that shows up on the right side of your screen every time a round ends, showing you the damage dealt, abilities used, things like that. And admittedly, this isn't a massive change. I'll put the side by side there. The main difference is they just made the numbers bolder and the agent icon that you either shot or killed you got shifted a little bit to the left and is now cut off by that arrow. But still, they changed the combat report. There is an update on that. And then they also changed the agent select menu. So now you'll notice when you load into a game of Valorant that all the agents are on the left side of your screen and that is where you will select them from. It does also show a picture of the map now alongside the name of it, so I think that's a nice change overall. And this one will take some getting used to, but I don't think it's a bad thing by any means. Especially for newer players, you can now sort by the different roles as well. So if you see, okay, my team needs an initiator, then you can just click on the initiators and see specifically which agents you should be playing or whatever your team wants. Other than that, it's just some lore stuff I went over in my other video talking about the new agent escaping from Abyss. This was just a pretty small patch, obviously with the champions going on soon, so not too much to cover.